According to a recent study, approximately 2.5 million middle and high school students reported using a tobacco product in the past year. Local rehabilitation programs are raising awareness on tobacco use this week. The CDC says since 2014, e-cigarettes have been the most commonly used tobacco product among U.S. youth. The Alcohol and Drug Abuse Council for the Contro Valley held their annual educational tobacco presentation at the Snangelo YMCA. Y'all want to know the reason why it's all black and it's all nasty and it doesn't look good? Because it was smoking, so that's what we're here to talk to you guys about. We show them a pig lung presentation, so we'll show them a good lung versus a bad lung. Um, and then we provide them education on what type of chemicals are in cigarettes, um, how that affects our lungs and our breathing. The 2021 National Youth Tobacco Survey showed approximately 76% of students in the past year reported exposure to tobacco product marketing through traditional media, and about 74% of students who use social media saw e-cigarette related posts. Flores says it's important to talk to children early on to educate them about the dangers of smoking. We know they're watching TV, um, they're seeing those ads, or just walking around, we see people with vapes, we still people uh, see people smoking traditional cigarettes and so um, whether they're not getting that kind of uh, education from their family and loved ones that's why it's good for prevention to come out and just um, spark that education. This, this uh, syrup like substance sits at the bottom of your lungs and um, basically it makes, it makes it difficult to breathe okay so we don't want this at the bottom of our lungs right? CCP coordinator Chesney Stevens has a special message for parents. But don't be afraid to talk to your child. Um, it is so important to have these conversations as early as possible. Um, just like we uh, kind of briefed and touched on is that these things are out there and these children will um, find out. So it's best to come from a parent or teacher or adult. The ADA CCV will continue their presentations on tobacco education on Tuesday and Wednesday at the Southside and Northside Boys and Girls Club. Esmeralda Perez, Fox West, Texas.